Hey guys, welcome back. This is the nicest view we've had since being here. We are in Langkawi in Malaysia. We're going to do some more exploring today. We are going to the cable cars and the sky bridge. The steepest cable car in the world. Oh my, oh my god! I can't even look. That is, I'm just videoing. I can't even do it. And then we're going to check out a cool waterfall. Let's go. Right, let's go. We're going into the clouds now. Let's get in the same. Well, that's not what we expected. So we're here at the sky cab. The weather is looking a bit. Not very well, not very promising. It's a bit overcast, it's cloudy, little drops of rain. I hope it doesn't rain, and fingers crossed it might clear up. Yesterday was a really nice day, so this is just typical. But fingers crossed, we'll still be able to see stuff when we're up there. By the way, guys, welcome to our channel. We are Ty and So if you haven't been here before, but if you have, welcome back. We are currently travelling through Malaysia. We have been to Kuala Lumpur, Cameron Highlands, Penang, and now we are discovering Langkawi. So this is our second day here. So we decided to check out the cable cars because it's one of the most famous things to do here. So this is a map of the place. Which way do we go? So There's a food court. We need a coffee. To go over the bridge to go to the food court. I think that's it over there. So this is the steepest cable car in the world. Sounds scary. <laughs> this is everything. So we've got Sky Cab, Sky Bridge, Sky Red, Sky Dome. I think the ticket actually includes all of that stuff. The place actually, I didn't realise, it's like an amusement park type place. So yeah. there's um, little shops, there's quite a lot to do here, all different things. I didn't think it was going to be like this. So. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of Barna Hills, like the, yeah. the buildings. Yeah. So the time is 10.30 in the morning now. Um, read this place actually opens at 10, I believe. I think I read that online. Um, you can buy your tickets online on like loads of different websites, so like get your guide, etc. If you want to book it, there is a link in the description to book this tour. Or you can just turn up, but you do have to queue in a separate queue then to buy your ticket. And then you have to queue again to actually go on the cable car. So it's worth buying your ticket before you come. tickets online there's a separate queue the queue's actually not too big today maybe it's because of the weather or because it's not the weekend but yeah we booked online anyway just to save time queuing thank you thank you so yeah we've already we pre-booked the sky bridge online or you can pay for it when you get up there but we thought we'd book it online sorted choose from when you come here. Um, you can get like the standard gondola which is what we've gone for um, which is the cheapest one or you can get a VIP, you can get a glass bottom one, you can get a 360 one, you can get a private gondola. So yeah there's loads to choose from. Glass bottom one looks freaky doesn't it? Yeah I wouldn't go on it. No way. <laughs> Actually one of these um, fell and loads of people died and we've just remembered. Yeah not here though. Not here but somewhere else in Asia. So now I'm quite freaked out. Why am I doing this? <laughs> look, there's loads of animals. I do care. I do care actually. Oh, look at the chickens. Aww, so many there's, ponies. There's geese, yeah. there's ponies. Oh, dogs. Is that an emu? There's so many different animals. What's going on? How are they all living together? <laughs> so we run our way up to the top. Not so. <laughs> Not like that. Um, oh, is that actually a nice view? 
can see the coach, can see the sea. Um, yeah, giggle. Yeah, this is, apparently it takes about 15 minutes to get right to the top. And it's, yeah, it's the steepest cable car in the world, so. We're just in a box, flowing. If anything happens, we're dead. <laughs> it's just, it's uh, I've been on them before, yeah, but that's before I heard that they can break. Uh, now I feel a little bit not, not so good about it. Uh, look at it. <laughs> You can see the waterfall. I think that's Seven Wales Waterfall, the one that we're going to go to after. It's very pretty from high above. Oh, <laughs> Stop, you're making me nervous. Oh my god. You alright? Oh. It's okay. Look at that. I showed them. What am I looking at? Look how tall that is. We're literally just going oh. up in a straight line at the moment. We're going into the clouds now. We're going so quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, we're there. We're at the top. <laughs> That is the steepest cable car. So we're here at the top now. We got to the top of the mountain. Um, it says that it takes about 15 minutes, but it felt like it's a bit quicker than that, maybe 10 minutes. The total length of the cable car was 2.2 kilometers from the bottom to the top. The cable car opened in 2003, and it is located in the Oriental Village, which is where we came in, and there was all the shops and the little cafes and stuff like that. There's also some attractions included in the ticket, which are downstairs in the Oriental Village too. So be good to see what that's about. So we haven't got much of a view at the minute. We are surrounded by clouds, which is a shame. Fingers crossed the clouds might clear in a minute, but who knows? We'll just stay around here a little bit longer and see if they're clear, because it'd be nice to see a nice view. So where we are right now is like a viewing platform. Obviously, we're not so lucky with the actual view today, but everyone corrugates here. And then when it's time to go, you just get back on the cable car that we came up and it just goes straight off to the next one. Which actually, when we first come, the next one you can actually see, but right now you cannot see it whatsoever. The next bit is the Sky Bridge, which you actually have to pay extra for. You did have to add it on, but it's cheaper than buying it here. Yeah, you're better off buying tickets online than here, obviously, yeah. than cheaper. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go to that now. Let's go. Yeah. I don't like it. So we are on the second cable oh, car. Where we are in the clouds. <laughs> so we've come here in monsoon season and probably not the best on it, to be honest. But yesterday was a clear day, yeah, so we should have came yesterday. <laughs> we chose a bad day, can't help it, it's one of those things. This one's really short yeah, compared to the one up here, I think we're nearly there. So we've got to the other side and this is where the sky bridge is. Anyone can come to this bit though, there's obviously something up there. Yeah. I think it's just another viewing point, we're going to go on the sky bridge. Let's go. Let's go to the sky bridge. Trail, since this route is a naturally made trail, which can be really challenging and risky for some people. Eh? What? Is it like a hike? Not a hike, like a trek as well. So, so the route to the Sky Bridge takes 10 minutes oh. of walking. This is the Sky Glide. It's like a yeah. It just goes straight down that hill. That's quite fun. <laughs> Oh, so this is where we are, Ma Machang, Machina Machinchang Mountains, I think that's how you say it. The birthplace of Malaysia. So we just passed a sign that says we've got about six minutes left, so we've done four minutes, just coming all the way down basically into like a jungle. Um, I'm walking through, it's kind of like, reminds me of like Avatar. It's like all misty and like a jungle. Yeah. So It's, it's probably better doing this 
when the weather's a little bit more misty and yeah, definitely. wet up here because I bet this will be hot. Look, look at that, it looks like we're in like, like an enchanted forest. It's really windy up here. I don't know if you can even hear me, I have to hold my hat in case it goes flying. See how quick the clouds are moving. That's how windy it is. Ooh, why did it just, it just shaked. What? I swear it just shaked. It's shaking. It's moving, I don't like it. Stand on it. Don't like it. Don't like it. <laughs> Anyway, it's just cloud. That's monkey up here. Hello, mate. You good? <laughs> good, bro. See the monkeys playing with each other. I think that's their bums. I'm scared they're gonna nick stuff. Oh, he tried. They're thieves, aren't they? They yeah. just take stuff. Trying to see if they can get the food off this one. They're all trying to gang up on him. They're always up to mischief. Naughty monkeys. Monkey. Cheeky ones, look. They're little ants. You can see them on the roof. Well, that's not what we expected. It's a shame it was so cloudy. Never mind. It was so windy, wasn't it? Like, I had to hold my hat. I literally yeah. thought I was going to lose it. So we just come to the next part, which is called Sky Boutique. And you come walking up onto another platform. You can actually see the view now. Come up. Yeah. yeah, they can actually see though. Yeah, God, so it's windy. Where we were, we were just. I think we were just over here. Just over there, and it was completely cloudy. Ah. So I bet if we're on the bridge now, I could probably see the nice view. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Look how clear it is down there now. So that is where we just were on that really windy, rainy, cloudy bridge, and look at it now. Nice and clear. You can see the nice view of this, the coastline. Where we just were, you can see the monkeys on the roof. This is the nicest view we've had since being here. It's been cloudy the whole time, but thankfully the clouds cleared and we finally got a good view. It's definitely worth coming up here. That's another viewing platform over there. You can see like all around now, 360 views, nice landscapes and sea. Lovely. Lovely. So, Koh Taratau is literally that island over there. That's Thailand over there. That's Thailand. We'll be there in a few days. Ooh, giving something oh, away. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you can actually see Thailand from here. They've got a little love lock bridge here. You can buy a lock and obviously put it on the bridge. It's bad for the environment, isn't it? Yeah. People throw away the key and stuff. I don't know if they have a system for it in place, but I know in general it's not great. They've got like signs for all of the cable cars. So we've got a, a Queens Town, New Zealand, Barna Hills, we've been there, Vancouver, somewhere, Japan, China. Singapore, Genting cable car, I think it's at Genting Highlands. Look at this How about a roller coaster? Oh no. Oh god. Oh my god. That is horrific. Oh my god. It's like we're on a roller coaster. Oh my god. I can't even look. That is I'm just videoing my fuck I can't even do it. <laughs> came down off the cable car, I was a bit more nervous the second time, and it was raining, but we're on, we're on the level ground now, we're off the cable car, <laughs> um, but we haven't actually had any food today, and what time is it? It's like 2 o'clock. Yeah. Um, it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so we are starving. Nearly off, dude. So we just came here, which is a little food court, and they've got lots of different types of food, so we've sat at a German food court. So it's German food and we've gone for burgers. Food courts are always the way to go when it comes to trying to eat cheaper. So 
Yeah. You just got two two burgers, two chips, two drinks for twenty six RM. Yeah. Not Very bad, good. Eh? Good. So to come here today was one hundred and seventy six RM for the both of us. That includes the cable car, the sky bridge. It includes about four different other attractions here. So there's a three D art museum, the sky dome. Um, and there's a couple of other things. So, so far it's been a really good day out. I've really enjoyed it. So we've still got those attractions to go to. So it's a proper like full day out. If you do come here, I recommend spending the whole day here and come early in the morning. So yeah, it's been good. Burger's just come. This looks like a good burger. What'd you get, chicken burger? Mm, you know what? I like that. That's good, good value yeah. money here because that's actually decent for price bread. Good value. Nice. We just walked into the next place called the Square Dome. We actually have no idea what to expect. It looks like a spaceship. So if we don't come out, you know, we got lost here. <laughs> show, look. Oh. That's a little sneak peek of what we're about to go into. It looks like a show. Oh, sorry, we're about to go in now, so let's go. I don't know if we can record, so we might not be able to record in there. We'll see. So we've just walked in here and it's like a massive dome, as you guessed it, sky dome. It's like a 360 cinema, yeah, isn't I'm it? quite excited. <laughs> So we were nearly sick. No, it did mess with my head a little bit. I've seen all that. Well, we're in. A, we've got a 3D art museum now. The largest 3D art museum in Malaysia, apparently. Where your shoes gone? Where your shoes gone, huh? Here, yeah, my feet. <laughs> oh no, why? I did. Oh. Where your shoes gone? Where your shoes gone, so? You have to take. You have to take your shoes off. that way. That's his favourite one. Loves the Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little rave going on yeah, here. <laughs> Go on the way into 7 Eleven. <laughs> so, this is Sky Rex. Next showing at 4 45, Dinosaur Island. So, we've got to get these glasses. Can you grab me a pair, please, babe? Does this thing actually move? We're getting on like a car. Oh my god, what? Look at that. Big glasses on. Oh yeah, cool. On your left, you can see our mighty cave of Stegosaurus Antis. These large dinosaurs are located in the Seven Wales waterfall now. It was literally a three minute drive up the road. If you want to do the waterfall, it's good to do it on the same day as the cable cars as they're literally right next to each other. So we're going to go to the bottom of the waterfall and it's just 
10 minutes up here. We're here, we got to the bottom of Seven Wells Waterfall and it's pretty amazing. <laughs> In the waterfall, feeling it, it's quite cold. It's not as cold as I thought it was going to be. I don't like cold water. This is alright. Nice, I wonder what's down there. Look at that, it's a So we are about to get on the bike and go home and we're going to leave the video here. Uh, we've had a really good day out. The dinosaur thing was a really good. I thought the dinosaur island was really fun. The cable car was a bit scary. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've really enjoyed it. There's a lot to do here. I definitely recommend coming. It's definitely worth the money. We've got so much more planned in Langkawi. Make sure you tune in if you want to see more of Langkawi. Hit that subscribe button and we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a big like and let us know you enjoyed it. So let us know if you guys are going to come here or if you've been here and what you guys think. We'd love to know. But yeah, it was honestly a, it was a pleasant surprise. I wasn't expecting it to be like this. I, no. wasn't, I, don't, I don't really know what I was expecting. I was expecting literally a cable car today. Didn't really notice all of this as well. So yeah. buzzing. But if you enjoyed this video, watch this one next. I think you'll like it. See you next time. Bye. Bye. So Langkawi consists of 99 islands on Malaysia's west coast. It's famous for its pristine beaches, beautiful rainforests, gorgeous landscapes, and of course the amazing duty-free shopping. So 